don't think I had the lan- Oh wait, I did have the lantern before. Oh, dang it. No wonder I couldn't power up anything. Man, I am being an idiot. So anyway, let's go all the way back over here. And now with the power to run across gaps, I can now get to this switch safely and easily. And also get these treasure chests over here. So that is puzzle solved for the area. There's a moon pearl. I definitely could use that, but I probably need to take a different path back. Probably this one right here will take me to that door to the left side. Yeah! And now I can go into the dark world right in this portal. Awesome sauce! Woo! Alright, I can run across these gaps, get a ton of force gems along the way too. And, oops, I can break these things like so. Do I want to break those things like so? I do not know. Uh, I think, I actually think I was supposed to do that, so that works for me. Um, I bet you I can get a treasure chest by going around. Yeah. Yes, sir and ma'am. Ah, I just fell into the hole. Down is death, people. Always remember that. So, this way and now to the left. Portal, here we come. Now I can go to that shadow leak area in the very center of the room that's been taunting us for a while now. Oh, no, you don't. You are not going to swing your hammer. And I got bombs. Woo! I definitely could use those. Do I get through those uh, bombable walls like right over here? Uh oh. Run for it, Link! Did that reset it? It did, okay. Well, whatever. Can I. No, I can't open that. Oh my god, so many big bombs! Don't do that, big bombs! Well, I got plenty of time to save myself, so let's just open up these treasure chests. And I got a big key! And I can use that to open that chest at the front of the room. Or not the front, the center of the room. Good night. Woo! 4,000 fortunes now! And now I am very strong, so let's blow up this wall just because I can. Or at least I think I can blow up this wall. We shall soon see. Success! And I betcha that other door is an exit. It's just my best guess. Because... You'll notice that there is uh, a, a block door from the other side that we couldn't get to from the um, outside of this circle area here. So, let's, there we go. Oops. And there we go. So, now I can bomb a whole load of stuff, including this wall up here. But there's a much bigger spot that I can blow up at a different area. But let's see what's over here first. Is this something that I would like to do? Oh, I need a slingshot to do it. I can get the slingshot back in the other room, but honestly, I don't really feel like going back to there right now. Uh, so, yeah, all you have to do is get a slingshot, and you'll be just fine. So open up that door. Kill the ropes! Oh, no, don't, don't inject me with your venom. Why must your fangs be so sharp? So anyway, despite being poisoned, we continue on our quest through this castle. And that is a weird little area up, over, up and over there. Hmm. So what am I supposed to do here? Probably go up this way, is my best guess. Oh, there's a slingshot. Um, I might as well show what's in that treasure chest now that I have the slingshot anyway. So let's just go back there real quick and see what is up right over here. That was quick. I'm almost positive this will work. Yeah. It's a heart container. So I guess that, that was worth going back. At least for the sake of the level. So now let's go shoot the switches on this side. And those boards seem to be forming magically on their own. That's really, really weird. So let's shoot all these. And what? The poop? Oh, I see. They're, they're triggered by switches. So let's just like micromanage these things like that. And that's not something that I wanted to do. Let's just try and hit that switch. That that affects that one. That affects that one. So th does that mean I want to do it like, whoops, like this? My guess is probably. Um, hmm. What am I missing here? I do not know. Whoops, I did not mean to hit that middle switch. I want, I want them all to be out at the same time. I think that's the trick to this one. Um, I think they're only, each of them only triggers, like, certain things. 
unless it's like a special puzzle where you have to hit certain ones or something like that. I don't know. What if I hit that switch? That one retracts back into the wall. Uh, oops, did not mean to hit both of those. Yep, it's a switch over there and press that one. That goes into the wall. What controls that last one at the bottom? I don't know. Well, let's just, uh... No, I can't cross that gap just yet. Unless there's another set of switches up ahead that I can tinker with. Oh, I see the point of closing the DS, or I should say the Game Boy Advance screen now. Uh, I can do, like, that kind of dealio and see what's up. If I press all these switches, will path open? Yes, yes it will, okay. Oh, okay. So, let's see what's in that middle door. Because it's clear I can't make my pathway with just one... Oh, I see what you want me to do with just one set of switches. Okay, so let's hit them all at once and see what happens. Okay, so I need one, no, that's not the right one, would like, maybe it was that one? It might have been one of those. What if I hit that one? Um, I need to hit one more switch properly. Will that be it? No, that affects two at once, wow. Okay, so if I do that, oh, there we go. Now we can leave. So I guess... Some of them trigger two at the same time, while others only trigger one. Maybe that's why I couldn't figure it out right away. That certainly makes a lot of sense. And these guys are going to kill me unless I go into this formation and start shooting sword blasts at them. And... Holy poopers! They're bouncing all over the place. Uh, Force Fairy, yay! And what is through this door? I don't know. We're going to see. It looks like a boss is coming up, or at least that uh, that stone formation on the ground implies. So let's see. Yep. Oh, not this thing. I hate this boss so much from Link to the Past. Um, in Link to the Past, if you fall down the hole and climb back out of it, you have to... I should say, and climb back up to the boss room, you have to start the boss battle from the very beginning. Whoops, I did not mean to do that, but this is exactly what it is like down here. Like, in the, in the other Link to the Past, it's like you fall down here and then you have to climb back up. But in the other one, it's multiple floors, so that really sucks. Its weakness is its tail, as you can see by that flashing bulb on it. And, ah, oh, shoot, it, you have to get it to, like, hit a wall and then for, make it reverse direction. Like, whenever it hits a wall, it does that. It reverses and then... You see what I mean. Unless I'm supposed to slingshot it or something, that would certainly make a lot of sense since it is a bulbous type of uh, ball there. And the slingshots love to hit things that are glowy and ball-like. Um, yeah, I bet you I have to use the slingshot. That's gonna really suck. Wait, wait, wait. It's changing color? Oh, I get it. I need to use the correct colored link to hit it. Okay, green link. Yeah! Now it's changing color again. Purple, blue, blue it is, okay. Success! Now we've got the pattern, we've got the power. This guy isn't nearly as aggressive, isn't nearly as aggressive as the one in Link to the Past, so this actually won't be that bad at all. So let's hit, ah, oh, I, I just made a mistake there, but the, oh, I made another mistake there, that's okay. I don't really care that much, you don't do that much damage, you're just kind of a nuisance more than anything. Red it is, oh shoot, I did not mean to do that, I should have waited. Uh, and for some reason you can roll up ladders, which makes no sense whatsoever. And hop down here, and swing at the tail, yeah, what, yeah, no, no, what, splitting, you don't love the split? Okay, maybe this will be a bit of a problem now, because of the split, so let's switch to greeny over here as long as I can. And there's green and purple. Yeah, well, got one of them. Let's just focus on one at a time and ignore the other one. Oh my god, you're getting a lot faster now. Okay, it wants the red one again. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, there we go. And one down. That one's purple. I can do that. Ooh, I got a lot of force gems for that. I will definitely take my prize. I should say prizes. And blue link. Let's do this. Yeah. One more to go. I should say one more hit. Which link do you want out of me? Green link. I can deal with that. How many more hits is it going to take to kill you, man? 
How many more? Blue Link, you're going down, baby. Oh, yeah. Why aren't you going as fast and as hyper as the other one? I don't know. Maybe because you aren't on your last leg or something. That would certainly make a lot of sense. Um, now you seem to be getting a lot faster. So let's just kind of lead you off to that side and let you switch yourself around like so. Yeah, it's over! days the boss is finished the dungeon is done and the door is open to the sanctuary to rescue another maiden or at least i think it would be called a sanctuary of some sort or at least i'm thinking of what the poop is this what the writing on the large rocks the ancient tongue okay i would like you to translate seek you the world seek you the power and does your soul despise, despise peace and thirst for more? Well, Ganon's does, I'm sure. No, I should say Ganondorf. Oh, boy. Oh, no! He's got the magic trident. He's the king of darkness. Oh, pooper scoopers. Oh, no. I hope not. So the king of darkness is not Vati, but Ganondorf. Is that possible? It certainly doesn't seem possible. I mean... Vati was the first boss, well I should say the first boss we've seen, that certainly seemed like it would be the main boss of the game, but it has misled us from the very beginning, at least I think, or at least that's what it's implying right now, so let's rescue this last, I should say second to last maiden, before we go rescue Zelda, I was going to say last maiden, because I don't really consider Zelda that much of a maiden, so to speak, because, you know, she, she's usually not a maiden in most games. Or, or maybe she is a maiden, I'm not that much of a Zelda buff, so to speak, so I could be wrong about that. But, uh, oh, there's their sisters, woo! They've all come together to save the world, I, I, even though that I'm going to do most of the saving, so this really won't matter that much to them, and why is the camera messing up there, I do not know. And it just kind of went back to normal a little bit. Okay. So, gonna call to her. Please rescue Zelda. You must save her. Actually, I'll probably have to rescue her in um, a whole different dungeon in the seventh world. Oh, there she is. Yes, it is me and the Shrine Maidens. Don't worry, we're safe. We'll always be safe. This is a video game. I mean, come on, Zelda. Get with the program. The hero will always win in the video game. Or the guy that you play as. You know, the protagonist. So, yeah. Unless you stop playing the game. Which would be kind of, you know, noobish of you, so to speak. And, uh, so... The Tower of Winds. We must go there. We must go there, you know, sometime in, in future parts. Not this part, of course. These dungeons have taken, like, two parts per level. Arrgh. Or this one might actually be a three-parter. I'm not sure. I guess I'll see I'll see after the cutting. Alrighty, so... You give me some Force Fairies. That would be kind of nice of you. Or maybe I'll have to defeat... No, I, I, I already destroyed the barrier, so never mind that. And there is the Sixth Maiden. Ta-da! Four Force Fairies, and I'm at 55 now. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next parts, where we tackle level 7. Game's almost over, actually. Two more to go.